gaming 8-bit days a week here and I'm gonna play Battle Arena Toshinton on the PlayStation Classic and from the looks of it this is one of those PAL titles so I'm expecting slowdown and I just really hate that Toshinton I believe is one of the earlier titles of uh, PlayStation. In fact, there was, um, if I'm remembering it correctly, there was a small rivalry between this and Tekken in terms of the 3D fighters before. Uh, this one emphasized on the more of the, like a street fighter fireball motions and uh, sure you can motions on the controls so it's it's um, really one of those early early 3d fighters that's um, they're not quite yet sure you know like how a 3d game should be we got like a specific roll button here. So, one of the I remember one of the things I really loved about this is the soundtrack. The music. You can play it on uh, if you have the disc. You can play it on a CD player. The controls are basically weak attack, strong attack, weak kick, uh, strong kick, and I'm using your standard Ryu average first average character and complete with the fireball and Shoryuken there. And I do believe he has like a downward flying kick can't seem to pull it off right now so being an early title yeah look you can see that it's very sluggish and I'll be honest I haven't played this game Whew since uh, when was this released because <laughs> yeah I used to actually used to have this but um, as soon as um, I got better with Tekken this I largely ignored this game I just couldn't go back to it I did play the sequels though, I do believe there's like Toshinden 2, 3 and 4 Is there a 4? No I think there was a 4 on the PS1 But I think the 4 was only released in Japan or something I remember there's also like, a, like an anime movie That has the same art as the Fatal Fury anime Flying kicks here are largely useless. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, it's, it was made in a time where they're not really sure how 3D fighting games should really be. Wait, there's supposed to be like a desperation attack there. Let's see if I still remember the correct motion. Anyway, 
I remember the sequel, part 2, also came out for the arcade, which is great. Strangely, it was like published by Capcom. That was during a time where they haven't really dabbled in uh, 3D fighting games. So eventually they did their own 3D weapon based, which we all know as uh, Star Gladiator. Another title that would have been a lot better if it was included on the PlayStation Classic instead of say this one or Puzzle Fighter. But that was a much much better no problem. 3D fighting game. So I don't know, I guess they included this because it was one of those early titles that so they wanted to showcase um, PlayStation's early to late later releases. Ken seems to pull up that downward. Maybe. So Kayin there is um, your standard Ken type character. <laughs> Small variation on the moves of uh, the Ryu character that I'm using here, AG. They even have the sort of Akuma, which is Sho final boss of this game. He's, uh, I know he's still selectable using a secret code. I just really couldn't remember all of those stuff right now, but I know it's possible. As I remember, I chose Gaia, the second to the last boss, more than uh, Sho. I really couldn't remember the motion for the desperation move there. I know it's... If I'm trying like a half circle forward to back and then another half circle back to forward and I know it's two buttons. I just can't really... Anyway, kind of losing here now. See, some of the problems of this game is there, the, like the collision. Sometimes it... You're making a straight attack, and it just really misses its mark. Uh, maybe I should have chose Cain. His uh, sure you can move goes forward a bit. There's an arc there. Last I know that uh, there is actually uh, Toshinden games today, well actually it's been a while, um, there was one for the Wii that was released uh, I don't know 2008 or 9 I think, but I don't really recognize a lot of characters anymore, it just, and it doesn't look anything like this. It's more cartoony, I guess. The fourth one I remember... Or was it... No, no, no. The third one. That one was like one of the first games that boasted that it's running on 60 frames per second, so it's supposedly blazing fast. Like a Turbo Edition. And it really stretches the 
character counts by having everyone having clones of each other. Yeah, kind of like uh, Star Gladiator or Plasma Sword, was it? I know it. everyone had a clone that's presented as a different character. So, I'll be honest, if you've never played this before, and you get a PlayStation uh, Classic, I doubt you'll even uh, load this game ever. <laughs> it's uh, just really dated, didn't age well. Problem, a common problem with a lot of 3D games actually. I wish they just chose uh, part two or three instead of this if uh, they really wanted the uh, Toshinden representation. This was just really a terrible choice to begin with. And uh, I'm glad I actually had experience with this before, so it brings my uh, attachment to the PlayStation Classic up one level. You know, it's, I see some games that uh, like I played when I was a kid, I remember, which I there is also, I know there's like a Saturn port of this one that featured more characters, I think, and it has 2D artwork as well, but the gameplay is uh, largely the same, of course, but given the Saturn's hardware, or maybe the port wasn't done well, but the graphics for the matches in game engine look worse. So as you can see, this game also has a ring out similar to Virtual Fighter. Not once does it feel like a sumo game though. Uh, desperation. No problem. So two more. Oh, let's see if we can finish this. Duke, I do believe, is uh, how should we say one of the top tier characters. Because of his uh, his special, where he kind of just there, he dashes to you and does the large swing. Or, um, maybe I'm confusing it with uh, the sequel, where where that's where he's uh, top tier. This game.
If there was a new, if like if they redid Toshin then again today, I hope it has more ties to this, you know, the original, the one that probably everyone actually knew. I mean, most knew. And uh, they could maybe style it with a, like, uh, Soul Calibur. Although I guess the fighting game genre right now is too crowded. Probably be lost in the shuffle. No problem. a character with range yeah which makes him pretty good in this game so it has been so long since I've played this game that I can't even recall if It was, uh, it was this slow, or was it slower? I'm referring to, because this is uh, a PAL version title. But I really can't recall the normal speed of this game anymore. Because yeah, I do recall it was always this sluggish. It's not that smooth. If I lose, I'm gonna quit. So, I'd like to hear everyone's thoughts about this game. The ones that actually play this back then and oh, of course if you haven't also played it before you know I'd like to know huh, what you think about it now and see how terrible it was or maybe there's a small how should we say charm about it that makes you interested in it but anyway oh yeah I died but Give it just one, one last one, one last chance. I, I am kind of recalling that I'm having the same sort of uh, frustration I had with the, with the PlayStation uh, controller. So if you notice, I'm not consistent with my fireballs and uh, sure you can there. Let's see. And I always had that problem with the uh, PlayStation controller even before. Um, I really prefer playing with the arcade stick. Unlike the unlike the NES or SNES classic, there's no third party company out there just willing to make one for the PlayStation Classic. Whereas for the NES there is and the SNES of course with varying degrees of uh, quality. <laughs> All 
right, I'm not gonna try for a desperation there, but... Come on, come on! Oh, see, that's really, really what I hate about the collision of this game, it's just terrible. You swear you have a confirm, but it really misses. Anyway, that's it for Battle Arena Toshinden. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please de do leave a like, comment, or anything. Please subscribe. Channel 8 bit days a week out.